Hello and welcome to Second Drafts, everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Today we're continuing where we left off last time on choosing keywords and categories for your Kindle ebook. If you missed the last episode, we talked about how to find the best category to choose. Be sure to check that out as it works in conjunction with the keywords you choose. Also, if you want to save time on these steps, I recommend KD Spy. As a disclaimer, I am an affiliate with KD Spy, and what that means is if you use the link I've provided in the description and purchase it, I will get a little commission. However, I wouldn't promote something I wouldn't use myself. And KD Spy also has a money back guarantee, so you can see if it's right for you. But I definitely recommend it. With KD Spy, it helps you find what category is best based on the sales of other books. And it also shows you how popular the category is, how stiff the competition is, and if there's good potential for sales. KD Spy makes selecting a category and finding keywords 10 times easier and faster than manually doing it. So check out KD Spy with the link in the description below. Now, we'll go over how to choose the best keywords for your book. It's also good to know that a keyword isn't necessarily just one word. It can be a phrase as well. For example, if you're making a how-to book on cooking chicken, say, you might put how to cook chicken as a keyword. You'll want to make a list of possible keywords before anything else as it will make narrowing things down a lot easier. If you've been following along, you should already have a list started based on the category you chose from the last video. Since you know your novel better than anyone else, making this list shouldn't be too hard. Amazon recommends a few good things for keywords, such as the setting, character types or roles, plot themes, and story tone. Things you don't want to have as keywords would be subjective claims, such as best or great, statements that are only temporary, like new or on sale, information that is too common, like book or novel, and misspellings or variations of spellings. It's especially important not to put things that are intentionally misleading, like putting another author's name. Amazon doesn't like this, and will most likely remove your book when it finds out. One thing that Amazon doesn't recommend doing is putting keywords that can be found elsewhere, such as the title, subtitle, category, etc. However, I disagree with this part, as if you put your keywords in your description, this helps reinforce those keywords further. So, by the end of this tutorial, when you have your seven keywords, you'll want to incorporate those into a great description of your book. Once you have your list, hopefully of more than seven keywords, you'll want to make a Google AdWords account at adwords.google.com. Don't worry, it's free. Once you have your account created, go to Tools on the upper left of the screen, then go to the Keyword Planner. Under Find New Keywords, select Search for New Keywords Using a Phrase, Website, or Category. In this section, you can enter the keywords from the list you made, select a target area, and see how many people have searched for those keywords. This will tell you if they are viable keywords, as the more people search for them, the more popular they are. Once you've clicked Get Ideas and the new page is loaded, Click on Keyword Ideas to see the list you made and the average monthly searches for each. Below that list, you will also see a list of related keywords you might not have thought of, which you can add to your list. Don't remove anything from your list just yet, though. Only rearrange those with the largest search results in order from greatest to least. Once your list is done, we'll be heading back to Amazon. Now, this is the most difficult and tedious part, and I'm not going to lie to you, it will take you a long time if you're not doing with KD Spy, and even if you are doing with KD Spy. But if you do it right, 
your book will be more discoverable and you'll have better sales. Take each keyword you have now, put it into Amazon's search bar, then push space on your keyboard, then the letter A. See what keywords show up, and if any would apply to your book, add them to your list. Go through and do this for each letter of the alphabet. You may need to remove a word from your keyword phrase if adding a letter doesn't really apply. For example, with how to cook chicken, you may want to remove the word chicken and just use how to cook, then push space on your keyboard, then the letter to find more matching phrases. Once you're done, you should have quite a few phrases in a list. Now, take each keyword from the entire list and search for it in Amazon. Then write down how many search results appear in the top left. The lower the search results, means there's less competition and more chance that you'll be seen on the top of the search results. Now go through the first page's results and take note of each book's sales rank. As with the category choice, you want a sales rank that isn't too high or too low, so between about 20,000 and 100,000. This means that the keyword phrase is popular and has revenue potential. If you find a great keyword with good potential for sales but low competition, make sure to put a star beside it, as it's probably one you want to have in your top seven. Now I want to stress this part again, as when it clicked for me, it finally made sense how Amazon works. The reason I started this series was so that you guys could learn from my mistakes. And this part is very important for sales. Amazon is a search engine. So when you're typing in those keywords, then the letter, and it shows you something to complete it with, it's not just pulling something out of thin air. These are things people have searched for before, and no doubt enough that Amazon's search engine is paying attention. These are the keywords you want to pay attention to as well, especially if they're popular for sales but have low competition. By now you should have quite a few keywords or phrases on your list but Amazon only allows seven. To cut them down, compare Amazon's results, Google's results, and what keywords are significant only to your book. For example, the keywords which you need to get into specific categories. You want to have a good mix of everything, but you should favor Amazon and your personal keywords over Google's average searches. The reason for this is because the keywords with the highest searches are probably ones that apply to a lot of books, and we want to optimize for Amazon search engine, not Google's. Once you have your seven, keep that list. Even after applying the categories and keywords you choose, you can always go back in and change and experiment with them if you don't like the results. This is especially important because of the reasons mentioned in the last video. Just because you put in the same categories and keywords as someone else doesn't mean you'll get into the subcategory you want. So apply those keywords to your book and then save as draft at the bottom. That's all we have for today's video. If you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And remember that Second Drafts has everything you need to write, edit, and publish your way. Do you want to support production of this YouTube series? Visit www.patreon.com slash and become a patron today.